I've taken the cap off the carb. The little this is a fast change cap. When you're racing motocross or whatever, you can instead of taking the carburetor apart, you take this off and change out your main jet or your pilot jet. Well, main jet. Whoops. Sorry about that. It's kind of cold out here and my hands are all fucked up. Other than that, I'm getting old and life sucks. Here's your main jet. Okay? Your main jet, this little tiny hole in here, which I'm not going to take it out, this sucks the gas from the float bowl, I mean the uh, yeah, float bowl right here, up into your throttle chamber, which is right here, and your your bike works. The problem is that in the, during the summer, gasoline can settle in the bottom of the, this bowl right here. And what happens is it evaporates. And when gasoline evaporates, let me show you what it looks like. This is a prime example, okay? okay? Gasoline has a whole lot of additives and junk in it. This is what it looks like in the bottom of your fuel bowl. Oh, come on, go. Looks just like that. You see that? Just pretend that's dried gas. This crap tastes like dried gas, too. Anyway, th what happens is this sticky bullshit will, you can see how sticky it is, it gets stuck into the bottom of that jet right there, and your bike doesn't run. It can also get stuck in the uh, uh, the valve right next, to, or excuse me, the um, jet right next to it, which is your pilot jet. Now let me explain the way jets work, very simply. There are two jets in here, a pilot and a main jet. Your pilot jet, when we're, we're talking about 100% throttle now, right? We got the throttle right here. When you start, your pilot jet or your idle jet will do zero to one quarter throttle. All right, then it doesn't work anymore, really. After one quarter throttle, your main jet starts to open from one quarter to one half to all the way to full wide FO. WFO, that means wide fucking open in uh, motocross terms. I, I, I love that term. So if your bike is idling, it means that your idle jet is clean, that little tiny one off to the left. If it will not run after 30 seconds, it means that this main jet's clogged. It's very easy to fix. It's the most commonest problem ever in motorbikes that have been sitting because they get this sludge gasoline in them and everyone just parks their bikes after the, during the summer if you've got a winter, like this shithole place I live in. Oh look, it's a plane. I got you signal them to come rescue me from this hellhole. Anyway. So what I'm going to do is turn the gas off over here, or petrol, whatever you want to call it. We're going to pull the carb. And to do that, I'll go down in here and take these... Uh, Jubilee clamps or um, hose clamps off. I'll pull the carb. I've already got the gas off. I'm going to um, remove the carburetor from the bike. Take the float bowl off and take a look at it. I'll take the jets out. What, the way you want to do it is you want to gently unscrew them. Remember they're brass. It's soft metal. You don't want to use anything. Uh, you don't want to yank on them. After I take the jet out, we're going to take the jet and we're going to point it up towards the light right up there. And we're going to look at it and see if that I can see light through that hole of the jet. Just figured just figured that's a hole of the jet. If I cannot see light, then it's clogged. So I'll take a little brush with some gasoline, clean the jet off, put it back in, and start the bike up. And there you go. Now, all, for all of you that are afraid of carburetors and afraid of working on them on your little mopeds, look, we learn by doing. You need to take the carburetor off, tear it down to look at it. It doesn't hurt. Videotape what you're doing if you want to remember how to do it. But all carburetors from the 14 millimeter stock carburetor to this 28 millimeter or this 28 millimeter, basically it's the same thing. They just have two jets, 
a throttle and they get clogged after every summer racing it's it happens on motocross bikes it happens on a lot of two strokes it happens a million times a year so now I'm gonna pull a carb and we'll take a look and see what it is another thing is that when you have a problem with your bike sit down and think about it for a minute what are the symptoms what is the thing doing it doesn't cost you a cent to think about it if the bike was running fine and now it's not running fine then we'll just go through our steps to find the problem and fix it so you don't have to take this to some shop where they're going to bend you over and charge you $65 an hour to go in there with the toothbrush and clean out a jet and tell you that they they, they finally found the problem and thank you for bringing it to them. All right.